Hey guys, so today I get to work with Genius Kitchen again. And they asked me to create Meghan Merkel's wedding dress and turn it into a doll cake, so that's what we're doing today. Did you guys watch the ceremony? I'm in Los Angeles, so I had to be up at four. I was a little late though, I woke up at five because I was just too sleepy. I loved the ceremony, I think Meghan Merkel looked gorgeous, so let's get started. Now to create this cake, the first thing I did was bake my cake in my Wilton's doll cake pan. Now I'm just using a lemon box cake and I had to use two boxes of lemon cake. Or you can use like an original recipe. I see you over there being an actual baker with your tested recipes. You do you, good job. I haven't had time to test any of my recipes so I'm just using a box cake. Now I leveled my cake in my cake pan and then I just removed the top as well as the heating rod in the middle of the cake. Just make sure that it bakes evenly because the middle is so thick. That's what she said. I flipped my cake over and then sliced it into three equal layers. I read that their wedding cake was a lemon elderflower cake. An elderflower, I've never heard of an elderflower. I think it's when you like go into an elderly woman's garden and you pick as many flowers as you can before you get caught. And then you run home and then you just sprinkle all of those flowers into your cake. <laughs> what is an elderflower? Small white flowers that grow on the elderberry bushes. Oh. Now with a round cookie cutter, cut a circle out of the top layer of cake, big enough so that my doll's legs could fit into it. And then I started to stack my cake. Now using a pastry bag, I added some buttercream in between each layer of cake and just spread it out using an offset spatula. My buttercream recipe is really simple, just one part butter to two parts powdered sugar and then three parts of love. Megan and Harry seem so happy. Even in their interviews, it seems like genuine happiness and love. I'd be so happy for them if I wasn't so lonely. <laughs> now I just continued stacking my cake, adding buttercream in between each layer. And then I gave my entire cake a crumb coat and then placed it into the fridge for about 30 minutes, just so everything could stiffen up. After I took it out of the fridge, I realized that the dress doesn't have as much volume at the bottom, so I took a serrated knife and just started to shave away the sides. I tried to be as true to like this shape as I could. There's even less volume than what I'm actually like shaving away, but I wanted to make sure there was still like a good amount of cake. Using my serrated knife as well as my sidekick para knife that I named Meatball, I cut out some grooves and slits into the sides of the cake so that I could give this dress a little bit of texture. The design of this dress is extremely simple, which means that I couldn't use like more fondant to create some fabric texture. The one layer of fondant that I added onto this dress had to do that on its own. My favorite thing about the royal wedding are all of the hats. They're so extra. Where's my hat? Let me go get it. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, I should have been wearing this the whole time. All of those hats looked super expensive and this was so much money, you guys. I used probably about like $6 at the 99 cent store <laughs> recreating this hat for this video. I should have just snuck into the wedding with this hat. I could have been chilling next to Oprah in one of those pews. Once I gave my cake a crumb coat for the second time, I took my Barbie, which was a soccer player Barbie, plunged her legs into the middle of my cake. Now I only cut a hole into the top layer of cake because her legs are really thin and the rest of the cake just sort of supported her body. Now this cake only goes up to her waist. So I filled the gap between her legs and her waist with some white fondant. And using my fingers and some sculpting tools, I just blended the fondant into the rest of the cake. Now for the top of the dress, I added a piece of fondant, just wrapped it around her waist, leaving her collarbone exposed. I was just trying to copy the style of the dress as much as possible. And then again, I just blended the bottom of it to the rest of the cake. And I didn't even worry about the back of the dress because I knew it would be covered by her hair. Now I wrapped a very large piece of white fondant around the rest of the cake and just hid the fondant seam at the back in one of the grooves I created. Now using some magic sauce, 
vodka. <laughs> I just blended the bottom piece of fondant into the fondant that's around her waist. That way it'll look like one piece the way that it is on the actual dress. I just pushed my fondant into the grooves I created with some sculpting tools to make it look like fabric. I wrapped a small piece of fondant around each arm and just followed the design of the dress making sure that her wrists were exposed and then the top of it left her shoulders exposed. And when I'm creating a sleeve for a Barbie doll, I always take the arm, I bend it the way that I want it to look on the dress and then I work with it up. That way when you place the fabric on, you don't have to move it as much, you just have to turn it down. I can't stop staring at myself <laughs> in this hat. <laughs> Once I finished with her sleeves, I took my X-Acto knife and very carefully just removed the pink ribbon she was wearing. And then using an old doll crown that I had lying around because apparently I'm some sort of a doll collector now. And some fabric tool, I gave her a veil. And voila, my Meghan Merkel wedding doll cake was complete. Oh, I thought that she looked stunning in her dress and she wasn't even wearing that much makeup. She just had this like really natural looking glow. I feel like the world that we live in right now is so divided, but like for a few hours on Saturday, I felt like I was just watching this couple build a bridge. Genius Kitchen, thank you so much for asking me to make this cake. I'll leave all of their social media links in my description box so you can head over to their YouTube channel and subscribe. I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot more with them, so fingers crossed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're ready for one more doll cake. I was already planning on releasing a doll cake for this week, but this video was kind of a surprise and it took the place of that doll cake, which means Friday I'm going to be releasing my Princess Leia doll cake in honor of the solo movie. I made this cake a long time ago and it's finally being released. I love you guys and I'll see you very soon. Peace!